What up, Screen Fiends? I'm GB, and you're tuned in to Screenheads TV, where we like to discuss all the wonderful things appearing on your movie and your TV screens. In this episode, I'm going to discuss my thoughts on where I think Kevin Feige is going to take the MCU um, going forward, after Phase 3 is all said and done. So after the Infinity War storyline. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to be just Infinity War or if it'll be the uh, the following Avengers movie 2. Um, I'm thinking that those are still going to be very greatly connected. So I really think uh, it'll be after that second Avengers movie. Okay, now... Um, Kevin Feige recently said when he was asked about Phase 4 and his few, his plans for, you know, Phase 4, he said something along the lines, this is not an exact quote, of, you know, I'm not sure where Phase 4 is going to take us or even if it's going to be called Phase 4 or if it's going to be something totally new. Now, we all know this is BS. Come on. We don't believe that Kevin Feige does not have a plan. He's had a plan for a couple of years at the very least, maybe even longer than a couple, right? Um... So, so here's, all right, so you ask yourself this question, how can you do that? You know, how can you still make it fresh um, and make it something new? Well, I think what's going to happen is we're going to drop the phases. It's not going to be called phase four or phase five or phase six. It's, you're going to drop the phases and it's going to split into two main factions and then like a smaller third faction of Marvel movies that we're going to get. All right, let me explain. So we're going to have MCU Cosmic. We're going to have MCU Earth, the Avengers. And then we're going to have those, a couple of heroes that kind of ride the middle, that deal with the Cosmic and deal with Earth. All right, so let's start with the, with the Cosmic side of things. So it's going to be all Guardians of the Galaxy type of stuff. Not saying all their movies, but that type of stuff. It's going to feel like Thor. It's going to feel like Guardians. It's going to feel like Doctor Strange. And the characters that are, we're going to deal with, you know, are going to be the Guardians, old and new. Um, and I'm sure they're going to bring in tons of new characters. Adam Warlock, I'm sure they'll bring in. Uh, you know, they, there's uh, their Nova. You know, there's other um, cosmic people they can bring in that we can follow. And then you have these teams where we can actually branch off. And people would pay to see a Rocket and Groot movie, I feel. As long as there was also a human element to it as well. So, um, yeah. So that's where they're going to go with the, with the cosmic side. And then we have the Earth side where we're going to deal with more Earthbound stuff. Now, if you look at Marvel one Phase 1, 2, and 3, they were dealing with Earthbound and cosmic stuff but it made sense because it was kind of you know all of this stuff was coming to light you know people with powers and then the cosmic uh threat and all of this right so it kind of made sense in the narrative um but now in this new this new phase phase four we'll still call it that even though that's i don't think they're going to be calling it that anymore it's like i said it's going to be mcu cosmic mcu earth maybe not called that but you get it so we're going to deal with more Earthbound um, threats. Not going to deal with the cosmic mystical stuff as much. We'll be dealing with um, the Avengers, those characters. All the characters that are within the Avengers. You know, Black Panther, Ant-Man and Wasp. Uh, if they're going to do any more Cat uh, Captain America stuff or Winter Soldier stuff or Iron Man stuff. Those are the characters that we're going to deal with. And the threats we'll deal with are going to be like Masters of Evil type of stuff. Maybe Red Skull will come back. Or or maybe we'll get more of uh, Abomination. And, or we'll get Claw. And we'll get these Earthbound threats that I think will ultimately... That part of the storyline is going to lead... To instead of it leading to the Avengers, it's going to lead to a Masters of Evil type of scenario where there will be a team of bad guys that the good guys have to that the Avengers have to face off. So that's where I see the Earth storyline going. The cosmic storyline, there's a million ways that they could go. So I'm not even going to begin to speculate on the overall story arc and where they'll go with it, but I guarantee we'll get some stuff like Mag Magnus. Um, you know, we'll get probably, uh, some more stuff with like Celestials and the Eternals and, and that sort of stuff. Um, so the storylines that revolve around that, obviously. And then we have this smaller third tier that I think is going to kind of fall into its own separate thing 
where it's going to be certain characters that bridge the gap. So it'll be Miss Marvel. It'll be Doctor Strange, because he rides the line between Earth and other dimensions and other worlds, right? And, uh, you know, I would maybe Ant-Man and Wasp to a degree, but, you know, they're only really dealing with the microverse, and I don't think that's going to be part of the larger galaxy theme, so I'm not going to include them in that, in this. But I will include Doctor Strange as being part of that team. And then I think something exciting is going to happen. Even though it's not called Phase 4 anymore, how amazing would it be that in the Phase 4-ish, we get... The Fantastic Four. You knew I was going to say it. Because I can see them working out a deal with Fox. Because Fox right now is invested in the X-Men series. And Fantastic Four hasn't really done it for them. So do I think they're just going to piss away the rights? No. But I could totally see a big deal going on with, like, with Sony. Where the Fantastic Four will be shared between the two. And then that's how Fox will ride the coattail of Marvel on some Fantastic Four fame and popularity. Um, so yeah, and then Fantastic Four is also a perfect one that we're, perfect, uh, movie where it can ride the gap, ride the line between the MCU Cosmic and the MCU Earth. Um, and I totally think that this is where we're going, where it's not going to be phases anymore. It's going to be Cosmic, it's going to be Earth, and then it's going to be, um... The, the, those middle of the range characters, because I guarantee you, Miss Miss Marvel probably will be spending all her time out in space. She's gonna be spending her time guarding the Earth, is how I see her, and pro probably uh, I think Sword is the organization that kind of is in space there, hovering above the Earth. She'll probably end up forming that, or being, or Shield will form that, or whatever. Somebody will form that, and she'll end up being a part of that. That's where I can see her storyline going, Miss Marvel. And then, you know, Doctor Strange, he, he's in and out of dimensions and otherworldly stuff. So, yeah. Now, the big crossover thing that I think is going to happen, um, I don't know exactly what the event will be. I'm thinking something along the lines of Secret War, because if they make a deal with Fox... Then they can do the Kree scroll and all that stuff. So that'll be really exciting because that'll cover the cosmic, the Kree skull war. And then it'll cover those middle of the line characters too. Because you can do a lot of stuff with Fantastic Four there. You could do a lot of stuff with Ms. Marvel there. Um, and then the overall, you could bring that back to Earth by having the Skrull invasion. So I think that's going to be our next big crossover. Where this one was Infinity War and Infinity Gauntlet. That what the next one is going to be the Secret War, Secret Invasion storyline, um, and that's how they're going to bring it all together for a big crossover event. You get it? So the Cosmic might actually be dealing with the Kree Scroll War, the Cosmic storyline, whereas the Avengers one is dealing with the formation of you know the the Masters of Evil, so to speak, right? And then those those middle of the road characters will be involved in all of it that's how i see it going and that's i think is a perfect perfect way to do the future of marvel why where you're making it feel fresh and you're giving us something new and now it's not so predictable as phase one phase two phase three now it's like oh what's going to happen in the cosmic side what's going to happen in the earth side how are they going to bring things together this is what is exciting to me now, real quick, I just want to touch on what they can do to, to also freshen these things up so we don't feel so repetitive, right? So you had phase one was all about the, the formation of heroes, the formation of the Avengers, right? The good guys, learning about them and their origins and all that. Whereas phase two was about the good guys creating the bad guys. Look at all their movies. That's what it. That's what every single one of the Phase Four movies really is is about. You know. You know. You had Iron Man three, where there was. Oh, I'm not gonna go through all the movies, but you had Iron Man three, where there was. Um, Iron Man was feeling guilt towards what happened in Avengers, but not only that. What. Uh, uh, Aldra Killian, who was the villain of Iron Man 3, was an, originally a good guy who ended up creating bad things, right? And then, you know, you have Winter Soldier, where the government's, you know, S.H.I.E.L.D. and HYDRA and all that 
were, uh, you know, creating things like the Winter Soldier and uh, uh, disordinance within the ranks there, right? And, and, and you know, then you had Ant-Man and Wasp where Hint Pym creates a technology that then gets used for nefarious reasons. So, right, you had all the good guys creating evil all throughout Phase 2. And then Phase 3 is about inner turmoil. Civil War, you know, we have the heroes facing off against each other. That one's obvious. Look at Doctor Strange. It's all about him being damaged as a person and trying to come to grips with that so he can be the hero that he's meant to be, right? Um, even the villain, Cassilius, is is a guy that's dealing with inner turmoil. He's not a, he didn't start out as a bad guy. He started out as a sorcerer trying to do right things. So you see that inner turmoil all through, you know, we're going to see it. All throughout phase three. I truly believe that. Um, so what they can do with the phase four. To to change that up. Is for the earth side. You give us more of the villains. Right. We need to know the heroes. Because you're giving us new heroes. Yes we need to know all that stuff. But if you make your villains more interesting. Now you'll stand out. Apart from the first three phases. Where the, all the villains. Even the ones that are interesting. Kind of fall flat in the end. Loki aside, and hopefully Thanos aside. Um, so th that's a way you can make the MCU Earth feel fresh by focusing more on the villains. And if we're leading up to, with the Earth side of things, if we're leading up to the, the Masters of Evil type of thing, that makes sense, right? And then on the cosmic side, you just keep giving us more of the weird. We haven't even spent a lot of time in the cosmic. So they don't need to do anything different to change that up. All they need to do is give us more characters and more storylines. And then they got that set. And then the middle of the road characters are all fresh, new characters that, that would be exciting in the MCU. Um, and you could do exciting things with their stories. We've already seen where Doctor Strange could go. Through dimensions. Then you have Miss Marvel, where you're dealing with a human with alien abilities, essentially, that is trying to protect an entire planet by herself. This is different. This is a, a, a different take, and it's the first female led uh, Marvel movie, so that should be good there. A good dynamic and interesting. But I don't know where they're going to go with it, so I can't speak too much on it. But you can start to. Miss Marvel can start to mesh together the cosmic and the Earth more than Infinity War is already going to do. It can kind of further that along. And then you have Fantastic Four where they can go in all types of new interesting ways that Fantastic Four is not gone in the movies. You could turn it to like a Star Trek thing where you make it about their, their journeys through space. Or you could do a half and half thing. Half about their journeys through space and half about... Whatever they come across during that journey coming back to friggin', you know, attack Earth or whatever. So there's a lot of possibilities you can do there because Fantastic Four has never been handled right. So you can do the dimensional thing. You can do the space thing. You can do it all because it's all of that stuff is already laid out. For the Fantastic Four. So I think this is great. And then you could bring in all these great characters. Like Galactus. The Skrulls. Um, Adam Warlock can have a big part in the storyline. You know going forward. Uh, and I think it's really interesting to see where they're going to go. And, and you know I'm probably wrong. But hopefully I'm part right. Because this is really exciting to me to think about. Where they could grow and expand. And think about that. That's the next step, logically, for Marvel. They've introduced their heroes and the possibilities of all the worlds that can be explored. Now it's time to live in those worlds and live in all these characters' heads and live a little bit with the villains and spend more time in some of the worlds we know and some of the new worlds. All right, that's it for this vid. I've rambled on long enough. So to sum it up, I think that the Phase 4, even though they're not going to call it that, after Avengers, Infinity War, and what I think is going to be Infinity Gauntlet after that, um, I think we're, what we're going to do is see it branch off, and this leads to where they're saying they want three movies a year, because now they can have a cosmic movie, they can have a regular Earth movie, and they can have a crossover movie all in the same year, and... And it all feel different and it all not feel like you're watching the same thing over and over again. This is a brilliant marketing strategy. If you don't have a plan, Marvel, I hope you watch this video because you're welcome. Because this is a great, great idea, a great plan. And like I said, I doubt they're going to do it exactly like this. But one can only hope that they'll do it somewhat along these lines. 
Um, yeah, so sound off down below. Let me know what you think about my theory, my thoughts, my predictions about what phase four. I know the quotations are a bit annoying. I hate when people do them, and I don't know why I'm doing them. But whatever. <laughs> so let me know what you think about my ideas for phase four. What you what what are some of your ideas for phase four? What you think they're gonna do? And um, yeah, get excited with me. You know, we we got May the fourth. So we're doing all cosmic, all galaxy, all month long. So uh, this is the time to really get excited about this stuff. Guardians comes out next week. I'm super hyped about it. I'm trying to stay away from all the reviews and stuff like that. It's really hard when you're in the YouTube world. But uh, all you got to do is try and uh, not use that click finger, right? All right, so you guys have a great day. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, that's it for this vid, and I will see you next time.